My name is Marcus. This is Gamga TV. And today we are privileged to speak with our friends from the great north, uh, from Canada. We've got Liz from Sarnia. Ladies and gentlemen, um, should be a fun event to learn about another Gamga Verein. Um, Liz, welcome. Uh, I, uh, it's a pleasure. We've, we've talked a couple times before as part of this project. Um, so it's good to finally actually meet you face to face. So much. I appreciated. agree. Thanks for um, having me. <laughs> but uh, let's let's jump right in. Um, we need an official name of the club, where you guys are. If you can kind of introduce um, yourself sure. and then introduce uh, Sarnia to us, please. Perfect. First of all, um, some people know me, some people don't. So I'm Liz from um, Blau by Sarnia, and we're in Ontario, Canada. Um, I do the social media for Gamga, so some people have met me um, at the event. Um, some people know me through some of the social media, that kind of stuff. So um, Sarnia, for people who don't know, because we get this question all the time when we're in, because uh, we always get introduced as Sarnia from Canada. Well, Canada's quite big. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, well, we're in Sarnia. So we're about an hour and a half from Detroit. We're right on the border with uh, Port Huron. And uh, we're about two, I, I'm, I live in Toronto. My parents uh, live in Sarnia um, and it's about two and a half hours from Toronto. So we're down in Southwestern Ontario. So we're kind of like at the, Ontario's like this, we're at the bottom there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and our group is, as I mentioned before, is uh, is uh, Blau by Sarnia. All right. Uh, so um, when it comes to involvement, I know you got a fair amount of information from your from your mom, who's been with the club <laughs> for a long, long time. So so I want to yeah. give credit here. So even though even though she's she's not here with us, uh, would you mind kind of introducing her and kind of the roles that that she and, and your dad, obviously as well, have played within your fine and. Uh, maybe even beyond uh, over the last, uh, over the history of your club? 100%. So um, my parents are Manfred and Susan Gruning, and um, I'll touch on a little bit more, but they were the 2013 Gamga Prince and Par. They were the first Canadian um, uh, Gamga Prince and Par to be asked. So they were quite honored on that. Um, my parents, my dad is from Germany. Um, so he's, he was born outside of Hamburg. And uh, so he came when he was very little and, but with him came um, the traditions like with his parents and everything. They opened a German club in Sarnia, um, but with the German club came um, Carnival because there was members that moved to uh, people that were part of the German club that came from outside of Cologne, that kind of stuff. Um, so while Hamburg doesn't necessarily uh, so much, um, my dad got involved with it through other members. Um, my mom is not German. My mom grew up in London, Ontario, which is an hour um, from Sarnia, but she got involved in the uh, early, late 60s, 69, with uh, a girlfriend was in uh, the guard group in London or Funken. Because uh -huh. London had a big uh, had a big group as well, big carnival group, big German group. And uh, so she was like, you got to come out and try this dancing thing. It's a lot of fun. So my mom uh, joined through that and she had a great time and she danced in London from 69 to about 74. And um, at one of the dances in Port Huron, Michigan, um, uh, it was a Valentine's Day dance. My mom got asked to go with four other uh, dancers and um, my dad was at that dance um, oh. with Sarnia. And uh, my dad went and danced with every single one of the girls and they all turned him down. And anybody who knows my dad, that's a good laugh. <laughs> and, and then he got to my mom and he saved the best for last. So, oh, wow. uh, so my mom ended up marrying my dad and she moved uh, to Sarnia and she got more involved in um, the Sarnia German club, but more specifically in the dancing side, because that's what she really, really knew. My mom, my mom was a, an excellent dancer. I get her dancing ability from my dancing ability from her. And uh, she kind of built up the, the German, the, the guard dance and built up the group. And uh, it was formed by a couple of girls in London, but my mom took it to another level when she moved to Sarnia. And since then, my dad's been the president of, he's still the president, even though our our club is very small now, um, but they're quite active, um, obviously, coming to Gamga. Like I said, they were the Gamga Prince and Par. But my mom was very active in bringing the group that everybody sees on the dance floor at Gamga 
um, in the early stages. We have girls now that do an amazing job taking over that, but my mom was the one that started. And my dad kind of just like rolled in the background and let my mom do it. I'll be honest, my mom is the boss. My dad is just the mouth. <laughs> you, you know when to step back if, if uh, I mean, goodness, yeah. Um, that's I, right, I, that's I, right. For my parents and yeah, my, my wife and I say same, same thing, you know. Yeah, how, uh, how, how sweet. So, so that, I mean, what a, what a great way, of course. I mean, and that's, that's really what Carnival to a great extent is all about for people to meet and, and be social and have, have lots of fun. So you said late 60s, which is when your mom first, first entered that picture. Um, so is that what was, was Sarnia? Uh, it was live as a, as a big club, um, but how long prior to that, were there any carnival activities? And so, the, so Sarnia actually um, didn't really form, the carnival side of it didn't really form till around, um, I'm just quickly looking at 72. Okay. Um, the guard came um, to fruition around 72. Um, and then um, they joined, so in Ontario, at least, um, I know some of the Western um, carnival groups joined. Um, there was an organization that was formed that was very similar to what GAMGA is, but it was called uh, the BDKK, which is the Bundesdeutsche Carnivalgeschaft. And they were actually an offshoot of the BD, uh, BDK that's in Germany. So they were members and they kind of agreed to move, uh, have like a Canadian version of it. And so uh, Sarnia became an official member of uh, BD Kaka in around 72. And um, they um, got the name Blauweiss Sarnia, Esther KJ Blauweiss Sarnia at that time, before it was just Sarnia Carnival Dance Group. Um, and then whatever came from that. Yeah, so the 70s. And um, that's also around in the late 60s, early 70s, when the when this BD Kaka uh, came to fruition in um, Ontario. And it was it had a huge, um, it did so much for Ontario clubs, this organization. It was quite an awesome organization. And I'd like to go a little bit more into that if I can, because I really want to share about how um, different it was, but very similar to GAMGA. So like I said, um, they were an, a, a, an umbrella organization. Um, we paid dues to them, just like you do with GAMGA. But the one thing that they did um, that was very different than what GAMGA does is they held a, a dance competition two times a year, one for kinders, juniors, and then one for seniors. And it was called Maneuver Ball. And it was, uh, the senior one was over two days. Kinder Junior was just one day because you know those little kids wrangling them. <laughs> right, right, right. It's yeah. really hard. <laughs> and uh, so the Maneuver Ball, the senior Maneuver Ball was a very big deal. Like the groups worked um, for months all over Ontario. And we had groups that came from out West. We had groups that came from out East and they came. And on the Saturday, it was a full day of competition. And uh, then we gave out um, awards and then we partied and danced at night, but it was a great way to bring everybody together. We did uh, guard dances. Um, we had uh, freestyle solo show dances and Funke Mauritian solos um, that were part of the competition. And uh, it, I danced in the guard for 16 years. And so my whole like 16 years of my life, I remember going to these events. Maneuver ball was what I was most excited about because it was two days away and it was party central. Like it was at a hotel. It was very much like Gamga, like people drinking in, oh, should I say that on Zoom? <laughs> people being not that responsible <laughs> in elevators. <laughs> And it was so much fun and I got to meet the other groups and stuff like that. And uh, we had, um, so the Beauty Kaka was responsible for that. They made sure that happened, our, our dues went to that. Um, I want to mention that we had a woman named Inga Wagner and her pet name, which was lovingly given to her was the Dragon Lady. And the reason being is she was a judge in Germany at the dance competitions, because it's oh, wow. very big to have competitions yeah. in the, in the the guard dances and stuff so, uh, show dance as well too but she went there and she was from germany and she came back and she was like okay whatever we're doing the slow guard music and the low kicks and the whatever no more not happening so she 
whipped all the groups into shape and uh, the high kicks, the fast music, the precision and everything came from this woman, um, Inga, and it was adopted in Ontario. So when you see our Sarnia girls dance, we're dancing very similar. We have adopted it to our own version, but it's very similar to what you see in Germany. Um, and that was part of what the BD Kaka, they wanted that, they approved that. They were like, please go ahead and do whatever you need to do to bring up the caliber. And it just took dancing to the next level. It was hard. And that's why the lady, Inga was called the, the dragon lady because she would see us at practice and competition and she'd just stand there and she'd just be like, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> no, like so. <laughs> she sent many of us crying, but in the end, it was so much fun and I look back at it and I was like I wouldn't change a thing about it but once again um it was very it was what that BD Kaka did and it really encouraged the kids to stay in because they wanted to I wanted to um from kinder juniors I wanted to move up to seniors I wanted to go and be part of that other experience the the day was fun but once you get to be like older, it's so much better when you get to go with the Gamga version. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know what I'm talking about, people. It's just a good party. <laughs> but, but, but what a way to, to, to get young people in and, and keep them in and kind of get, get them used. And, you know, it's, it's those activities that do that. And, you know, and if you're doing it through dancing. Um, but, you know, obviously, and, 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 you know, as you mentioned, your, your club is, is relatively small at this point yeah. in time. But were there any other um, groups besides the dance group that were uh, there at, at any time? Or was really the focus really always on the dancing side? Well, so for us personally in Sarnia, it was uh, for the longest time, it was half and half. The group was doing it's like the girls were doing, uh, we had the, the troupe and then we had the carnival group and we were quite big and we were holding active dances and all that. And I know it was very much the same with, um, I, I'm not exactly sure of the number, but Ontario had many um, German groups and carnival groups. We had lots. Like, I think I, if I can recall um, in my days, um, and that was the 90s when I was going to senior, um, we had maybe 15 different groups that were competing at one time. Wow. And that's just Ontario, a pro the province of Ontario. That's not even speaking for um, all of Canada. Um, and, but eventually, just like life happens, um, groups started getting smaller and smaller. And um, what happened in Sarnia was actually um, something that has held our group together was two of the girls, Natalie and Bev, um, who have been dancing since little girls and kinders, they took over um, the dancing side and they created, they wanted, um, they saw a barrier to the name um, Blau Weiss Sarnia Guard like group, they didn't, um, little girls didn't understand what they were getting involved in. So they created the Sarnia Showstoppers and it is um, their dance place. And they still teach the guard dance, but they also teach a lot more like fun jazz dances and all that kind of stuff. But they've managed to grow the group to over 60 girls, all from the age three up to about 18. And uh, we've brought um, the girls to uh, Gamga and we've brought close to like 1.15 girls or whatever. And um, so that now is the focus of Blau Sarnia is the, the girls. So when we travel, we have our little small group but we're extremely proud of the fact that Nat and Bev had kept um, the German side of Carnival still alive while um, bringing in new blood and uh, young kids. Unfortunately, it didn't relate over to parents wanting to be involved on Carnival. Some did, but it just, times changed and people's view, things that they wanted to do was not about club things like that, at least not in Ontario, I saw. So I see it very different in the States, but then some of these clubs are, are much bigger. I know that some smaller clubs have issues the same as Sarnia, so. Yeah, of, of course, yeah. And, and I think that just the, in general, the, the, the clubs per se have, have certainly, um, you know, lost, lost membership because people are finding other things to do. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's interesting you mentioned, you know, again, the late 60s, early 70s, that's when a lot of these clubs were founded. Oh, yes. Uh, so a lot yep. of the system immigration from, from <laughs> yeah, you know, right around that time, right? Yep. Even I look at the the, the Trachtengruppen the, that in the German community as well. A lot of the groups were founded during that time as well, um, yep. and so yeah, it's uh, you know, but that's 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 how that's how how things move on. Now I'm, I'm glad you shared the the size of the dance group because you know I I, I was always impressed when when I was at Gamga to to see the the Sarnia girls dance, 
Um, but I had no idea that that was really only a fraction of the actual large group. And that's that makes it even more impressive in, in, in my mind. Um, I'd, I'd love to. So, sounds like I need to take a trip up that general direction. To, to, to you sure do. You sure do. Uh, well, they do a recital every year after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out and check it out. <laughs> you know, I, I just, yeah, I, I just might. You know, it's uh, again getting to know these groups has just has just been great. So right, I know I, you uh, need to. We need to get back on those planes and start traveling again. <laughs> for, for for sure, absolutely. <laughs> well, um, so then, if you uh, you know, obviously been around for a while as an organization. Um, besides the dancing, any special traditions that you that your club might have that they do like you know, any certain get togethers, any certain events maybe um, that you that you have every year other than COVID obviously? Well, um, like I said, we're, we don't do events anymore. So we do more of the traveling. So we, um, one of the, I guess one of our traditions is we love to go to German Fest. Um, that okay. is our like Gamga and German Fest are our like, woo! <laughs> Like we're all there for all of that German fest. I absolutely love because um, it gives me the best of everything I love. It gives me my carnival. It gives me my polka music. It gives me my this, my food, my beer, my friends. It gives me and it's outside and it's warm. <laughs> and so we have so that's become a tradition in Sarnia to get the and the girls have gone there and performed um, on the, the carnival um, uh, stage been in the parade, that kind of stuff. So I would definitely say that German Fest is become a tradition since we don't have our own dances and everything. We kind of push ourselves onto other people. Hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> adopt Sarnia. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sure I'm sure they love to see it. Okay. I, I, yeah, that's that's awesome. So uh, Prince and Pa, you said mom and dad were Gamga Prince and Pa in 2013. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it something that your club still does every once in a while or um, I mean, obviously, Gamga is a big deal. So you want to elaborate on that a little bit, please? Yeah, sure. So we used to have, when we were a bigger club, we we rotated through prince and princesses. We did the crownings like everybody else did. We we are we were a very traditional club, did everything like uh, you do in Carnival. And uh, I was um, princess uh, one year with my dad. And uh, we went to Gamga together. And that was a lot of fun. And we had a blast. And uh, um, so now we currently, as of right now, we do not have a Prince and Par. Um, my, my husband, um, who is not German, he's Scottish, but he is on the Gamga Alfarad. And uh, because that's what you do, you rope them in. <laughs> you never let them leave. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, he loves it. He's bossy. He likes being on the Alfarad. <laughs> So um, he, we, we were um, Prince and Par briefly for German Fest. So we kind of like uh, bring somebody to the forefront when we go to some bigger events. Um, so like German Fest, but because we don't have very many members anymore, I think people are tired of seeing the constant people. So we're kind of on a pause right now. I think um, in the next couple of years, my husband and I will make it official, do some traveling as the Prince and Par. Um, he doesn't know this yet. He'll find out when he watches this video. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> hey, that's how you do it, right? So, um, but yeah, so, but the biggest one was my parents becoming the Gamga Prince and Par in 2013. It was an, an amazing experience for them. It was really a highlight for them because they had been involved since the 60s in Carnival. And um, to be able to bring um, the Canada and the US together uh, through that because I know they were the first Canadian ones and Canada coming has only been somewhat of a new thing over the last 20 years it, it's um, because it started in the US nothing but that's why it was so it's really nice that now we've got a, a bridge that's been gapped and I'm sure we'll see some more uh, Gamga Canadian Prince and Pars in the past but it was a good party they went to um, uh, Minnesota and they went to Milwaukee, they went to Anaheim, they went to the New York Steuben Parada, which I highly recommend if nobody's been, it is a good party. <laughs> that was a very good time. They were treated like royalty and uh, they loved it and they really enjoyed their time as, as the Prince and Par and uh, we enjoyed throwing our uh, parties in the in the rooms uh, after the the dances that was a good time we did a little roaring 20s uh, theme uh, 
I don't remember much. I think it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I was bartending, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, you, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so that's where we stand right now. But again, we're very proud of um, Manfred and Susan of being the Gamga Prince and part of that. I was very happy they got asked. Yeah, I, I can imagine for sure. So um, you mentioned the, the other clubs that you that you go visit and the other events. Mm -hmm. Um, any special friendships? Any, any that you would point out? Hey, we're you know our clubs really close with with this neighboring club, or maybe one that's a little bit further away. Uh, you know, who do I, who do you go see? I think like in the past, um, when we were very big, we were we were quite close to we like a couple of um, just on the other side of the border, um, Detroit. We had uh, Germania downriver. We had. Um, uh, uh, GBU. We had a couple other groups there. And then we had in Ontario, we were good friends with uh, Kitchener. Um, and they still have an active club to this day. And I think we said since it was Cincinnati that has a very close friendship with them. And they travel all the time back and forth. Um, but in, in, in the past, we were very close to them. But I would like to say that, like, as much because we don't have um, a group group anymore with lots of people, we've become good friends with people from different clubs. So we've be, like so we, we we know many people from Anaheim that we've become very close with. Um, we've become very close with people in Edmonton, um, in Winnipeg. I know my parents just got an email from um, Winnipeg saying a, a couple there saying that they were going to come and visit them in their motorhome in oh. the summertime and stuff like this. So we've built our relationships that way now. So that um so it's not necessarily one club it's people in various different clubs and gamga did that for us um otherwise as the group started closing shop here in ontario our carnival prospects became less and less unless we went to germany every year so finding gamga really was what kept uh what was left uh, live for us and i honestly i don't know if we would still be a club if it wasn't for gamga the absolute truth because um the other groups kitchener still does stuff but it's it's on a smaller scale than it used to be and same with a couple of the clubs we visited in uh in the states that were close to the border so yeah <laughs> it makes sense i mean of course obviously we've, we've got some of the technology at this point in time to be able to connect i mean this is a perfect yeah. example Ho hopefully if we're doing that so exactly. yeah those personal friendships again is that 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 social part um that that it helps foster and then what better way um because obviously Very much people so. appreciate the tradition, appreciate the the fun, and yes, so those uh, those 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 after parties certainly have 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 a dimension. <laughs> um, That's well, what it's known for. <laughs> well, well, well. So speaking of, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm, I'll guide you there. Any uh, especially poignant moments or especially funny events that uh, that you might remember that your mom might have remembered uh, from the past, oh. Sonia? Well, um, I, I well I have a good okay. So we used to um, travel quite a bit and the one thing we always hated about carnival like i love carnival this is the one thing i hate about carnival it's in the winter time in my neck of the woods so tra so traveling is not easy there's been many times that our bus has been stuck on the side of the road and we never got to a dance um or we're on the way home and it takes us instead of two hours six hours like it's just a nightmare but i do remember we were going to there was a club in windsor ontario and that's right across the border from detroit and uh, we were going to a dance and I was in the car with my parents and it was actually coming home. We went to the dance. My dad had a really good time. So much of a good time that he left his shoes dangling from the bar. <laughs> Just left them there. I don't know why I took them off. <laughs> Took off shoes, left them hanging there, and then went out into the winter with no shoes and got in the car and proceeded to um, like just go in and out of sleeping. And in the back seat of the car was me and another girl named Elizabeth. And it confused him so much. He was like sleeping, Elizabeth. And and the other Elizabeth would be like, yeah. He's like, no, the one that's my daughter, that Elizabeth. <laughs> it, it was a very good time then. <laughs> oh boy. So we had oh, stuff wow. like this. I know I have memories of uh, being a Gamga when the German Lufafa uh, came to um, Gamga a few times, and uh, they I know they had a, um, a base in the in the States, and uh, New Mexico, or where I'm not, don't quote me on that, I can't remember, but they would bring their dance troupe, and that was um, before I was a married lady, and, 
<laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun to have the handsome German men. And uh, I remember many times that we would go out after the, uh, and this is when we were at the plaza uh, on Fremont Street. And uh, we would go out with um, Kurt, our, uh, our lovely Gamga board member. He would be part of this little group of people. And uh, we would go out with the German Luftwaffe and we would just whoop it up on the on Fremont Street. Uh, we had a thing called the Breakfast Club and we couldn't eat breakfast till like six o'clock in the morning. And so we made sure we partied and then we went legit for breakfast at six and then went to bed. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> and then got back up again at like what 11 because we had to start all over again <laughs> oh wow well, you know. those were some fun times like very fun times <laughs> well, you know, i don't know maybe, maybe we need to turn you know move come go back downtown vegas you know <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i loved i i know the logistics of it but being down on fremont street was awesome because it was just the party was right there and you just strolled in and out and it was a lot of fun and and i i they the german luftwaffe in their in their dresses and stuff when one of the they did one of their routines in full drag um were quite popular on fremont street walking around <laughs> I can imagine that too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. These tall, tall German men in dresses and walking down the street. <laughs> but but it isn't, once again, isn't that, isn't that what Carnival is all about? So I think for, Very much for, so. for people to, you know, to, 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 you, what a way to share it too. You probably had a few people who, you know, hey, those Germans can actually have a lot of fun, you know, no matter what anybody says, you know. Oh, yeah. I have one, one, one more story when I was um, at the maneuver bowls that I was telling you about. So uh, they was at a hotel that had an elevator in the past we would be at a smaller hotel but this one had an elevator and i remember i wasn't able to drink i was only 16 years old so my girlfriends my my friends were hanging out in the in the lobby of our like of our floor and my friend kept pressing the button to open up the elevator and every time we opened up the elevator there was another group of people with full carnival gear uh, drinking moving in and out of the things and then we just close it again and then we just press it open it up there's a new group <laughs> And they were just going up and down the elevators, going to visit each other's floors. And it didn't matter what, when we pressed it, it always opened up to full feathers. And full <laughs> now, now, see, that one, you almost want to go back. And you wish somebody had taken a video of that, you know, because that right. would have been a really, really great. Oh. What well, you have to, you have to, the best is when at, at that same time, or it was another time uh, the fire alarm got pulled and there's nothing stranger than when a fire alarm goes off um, and all the, the uh, prints and pars and everything are all downstairs in the lobby and the regular people come out of the rooms and they're like, what in God's green earth is going on? <laughs> oh, we're all standing there drinking, but, and it's to us, it's no big deal to see men with the, 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 the carnival, like the prints and par outfits with the stockings and, the, right, right, and they're right. just like, what is happening? <laughs> we're like, hello, <laughs> do you want to join our group? <laughs> <laughs> well so yeah so good times <laughs> I, I yes it sounds like it and i and i guess you you just you know once again brought it brought it back together why do we do this because we, we love having fun with other folks in addition to you know fostering the the traditions of course of carnival which and again uh, your group is another example where where those have evolved right so the traditional dances yes you mentioned are still there but you've got the modern the the, the show-stopping modern yeah. pieces in there as well and uh you know, that's, I think that's, that's what Carnival should be, should be all about. Yeah. So, wow, what, what a neat way to get to know Erste KG Blauweiß Zania. And, uh, wow. Um, I just want to mention one more thing. Please. I just want to mention one more thing. Um, Sarnia is also the reason why we have our traditional friendship guard um, that everybody enjoys. So our girls, Nat and Bev, or they're not girls, they're women, Nat and Bev, they, um, helped make that happen. And it's now become a tradition at Gamga that everybody looks forward to where all the groups, uh, come together, the, the girls and they dance. And, uh, I love that tradition now. And it really brings together what you just said. It now just brings everybody together and is what carnival is about. So I'm thrilled that we were able to bring a little something new to Gamga and also, uh, bring everybody closer together well thank you so much we'll we'll end it right there Perfect. thanks once again liz for for thank introducing you so much for having me you, Brian, and uh and to everybody else uh, make sure you keep watching um there'll be other finer that we're going to feature throughout the covid canceled 2021 season but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy carnival and that means um that of course gum guys gonna be right in your living room whenever you want it to be 
Uh, once again, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I'm, well, let's end with a dreifach kräftige Gamga. Hello, Hello. Gamga. Hello, Hello. Gamga. Hello. Hello. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
Gangna Gila 2019, we have for you the Volkenbahnischen of the Erste Karnevalsgesellschaft Blau bei Sarnia!
Thank you very much. So excellent performance by them, and uh, we've got the party that we're going to continue right now. We've got for you Astikagi Blauwei Sarnia. The Sarnia Showstoppers are going to tell us a little bit about the Stepsisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, I can't help. Little bubble with a flimsy kind of charm. 